Just say no to Quartzsite. It's as simple as that. Find out why. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here today. As an RVer who has full time for five years and gone to Quartzsite at least six times in those years, and probably say it a combined six months at the very bare minimum, I'm here to let you know you should just say no. Sure, there are lots of reasons why a new RVer might want to stop by Quartzsite. It's like the RV Mecca for one month out of the year. There's the Quartzsite RV show, the Quartzsite rock and gem show. Many reasons might call you there. But I promise there are lots of other places to go see where you can still find better free camping and better things to do. First, let me give you a few reasons why to say no. The crowds, that's the first one. Why on earth would you wanna to go to the smallest town with barely any amenities and fight for a loaf of bread? The grocery store limits how many eggs you can buy. At least it did the last time we were there. No. Because there are so many people and so few amenities. My recommendation is if you have to go to Quartzsite, stock up on groceries before you go there. But honestly, just say no because there's no reason to fight over a carton of eggs just to be in this little town with nothing in it. On your mark, get set, go! One more reason why not to go to Quartzsite. There are more than ever before rangers there making sure people are behaving themselves. And this is for good reason. It's because so many people for so many years have abused the privilege of free camping in the desert around Quartzsite. But the problem is, now there's an overabundance of rangers and you can so easily find yourself accidentally camping where it's not allowed, get a knock on your door, have to move. Sure, that's great, but the problem is there's so many people there and so many eyes on you all the time that it feels like you're being babysat at times. You can go to the extended stay BLM camping, but again, a lot of presence of rangers, by no means any privacy there. So why camp at a place where there are so many people and so many hall monitors watching what you're doing. If you're anything like me, you wanna be out in the middle of nowhere where you can live your own life uh, and have some privacy doing it. Quartzsite is not the place for that to happen. I don't care what you say, you might go there for a social gathering and that's fine, but for privacy and for free living, that's not the place to be. Let me talk though about some of the places to be because they are out there and they are abundant. First and foremost, I recommend skipping Quartzsite altogether. Go down to Yuma, camp at American Girl Mine. It's right across the border in California, but I promise it is so big out there. So much room to spread out. You got all the amenities of Yuma, but it's about 15, 20 minutes away. So you have all the privacy of the desert. And it's a great place to meet as well. People round up circles of 20 RVs out there, have awesome times with a friend the site's so big that I can be 500 yards away, only see you as a small light in the distance, be able to go outside my camper, use the bathroom outside and not have to worry about not having any privacy. It's very large and easy to camp at, easy to access. Big motorhomes can go there, small travel trailers, so much better than Quartzsite, take my word for it. American Girl Mind right outside of Yuma. That's one place to go. But if you're looking for a little more diversity in nature, and you don't want to go to Quartzsite, you don't want to go to Yuma, go to Lake Havasu. Again, a lot of free camping up there. You'll get a little less privacy, but you'll have an awesome body of water. The town has so many amenities. You can camp anywhere from two miles outside of town to 15 miles outside of town, depending on how much privacy you want, and still have an awesome campsite. Many RV groups hold their rallies there, so it is a great social gathering point, but also people go there for awesome ATVing and off-roading, so there's so much to do. It has some more diversity and elevation than Quartzsite. I would highly recommend Lake Havasu area over Quartzsite any day. Again, I'm only here to help you not be controversial. If you want to go to Quartzsite, so be it. Stay out of the other areas. But if you want to have an awesome winter, even bring your friends to these other locations and not have to fight for access to a smallest grocery store ever with bad produce, skip Quartzsite, go to Yuma, go to Lake Havasu. There are probably about five other locations right there in Arizona you can find pretty easy on Campendium. Do a little research, go outside the box, 
skip quartzite. Let me know what you think. Am I way off base here? Are you a quartzite addict? Which camp do you fall in? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.